Thanks for logging on to WCBI.com. I'm meteorologist Jacob Dickey. Today, looking very cold out there. We've got some clouds in the morning hours. They will thin out, and we'll get some sunshine for most, if not all, of us by the afternoon. Temperatures climbing into the 30s out there. We keep those north winds between 10 to 25 miles an hour today. By tonight, then, winds will start to subside, and we drop those temperatures down into the teens and 20s. Here's the highs today. I've got us sitting at 34 in Aberdeen, 32 in Tupelo, 30. In Boonville, Ripley, and in Corinth, Iuka at 31. We'll see those cold temperatures with the north winds continue all the way into North Mississippi, and even down into central Mississippi here, barely getting above freezing for many of us. 35 in Louisville, 36 in Starkville, and in Columbus, 35 in West Point. Winona and Carrollton up to 34 today. West Alabama, windy and cold for us. Clouds continue to thin out. 36 in Vernon, 35 in Sullivan, 37 in Reform, Aliceville, up to 38. For our high on this Tuesday. Now, the wind chill is really the big story here. As we get into the morning hours, we're in the teens, is what it actually feels like with those strong north winds. Maybe some of us sneaking into the upper single digits in a few spots here. That cold air settling on in here for a few days. Then into the afternoon, the temperatures are getting in the 30s, but we're feeling like the teens and 20s out there, about 5 to 15 degrees cooler than the actual air temperature with those strong north winds. And then tonight, back down into the teens for us. Very cold air continues on this Tuesday into Tuesday night. Now, the other story, too, is what are the roads doing? Early this morning, most of us still are seeing pavement temperatures above 32, and we'll have to watch and see what happens with that. Some rural spots may have a little bit of ice in places here, but that generally seems to be a far north Mississippi issue. Uh, and we'll keep our eyes here moving forth. Notice by 6 a.m. here, we've got some spots in the upper 20s as far as pavement temperatures. Any moisture that is on the road generally north of U.S. 278 will have the chance to perhaps see a little bit of patchy ice in places. But I don't think it's going to be a big, big concern. And I'll tell you why here in a second. Watch what happens though. as we get into the morning hours. Things warm up really quickly. The pavement temperatures are climbing into the 50s out there rather quickly. That is because of all that sunshine. Once the sun comes out, that's going to help us a lot. Then tonight, pavement temperatures fall quite considerably back into the 30s and 20s across the region. However, the wind is our friend here this morning. We're still seeing strong winds out there, 15 to 25 miles an hour. Lots of you have asked, when's the wind going down here? Continuing through the day is what it's doing. That's actually helping to mix some air over the pavement and drive out moisture, uh, dry out moisture that might be on the surface here. And that will continue through the day. So we'll be just fine tonight, even though those pavement temperatures are diving. The winds also are subsiding as we go into the overnight hours here. So they'll be only between 5 and 10 miles an hour after midnight. By the morning, then, I think we're trending towards calm for the most part here, as well as mostly clear. 18, the expected area low tonight. That will be a record low for our region with winds continuing to fall down. It will feel like 10 to 15, though, when you factor in those light north winds continuing overnight tonight under a mostly clear sky. So with all this cold weather, again, it's important to remember the four P's of cold weather. Plants, cover them up. Pets, bring them inside. People, check on them. And pipes, wrap them up. All things to consider here with this bitter cold Arctic outbreak in our region. Now, thankfully, we're on the downslide of this outbreak here of, of Arctic air. That, trop, that uh, moisture the trouble we saw with that wintry mix is now pushing out of the region today. Lots of sunshine coming for us. But still north winds, yes, of course. By Wednesday, then the winds will shift back out of the south, very light. And then we'll watch for a cold front to come into our region Thursday during the day. The good news is it's a dry front for our region. Don't expect any rain. Maybe a few clouds with that there. But that will put our winds back then out of the north as we head to Thursday night and into Friday. By the weekend, though, high pressure will take control. That will move off to the east. And we'll start to see south winds come back. And we'll get those temperatures back up more into the seasonal uh, uh, where we should be this time of year, which is into the 60s. Overall, really dry over the next seven days. That's the good news, too. We'll see lots of sunshine, at least. We are cold. Should be in the mid to upper 60s this time of year. Our current temperatures for the seven-day forecast keep us below that all the way into next week.